I'm Kimberly with the Fat Quarter Shop and today we have Janet Platt in our studio and she's going to show us how you can use her quick point rulers to make roses to embellish on any kind of project. So today we're going to use this small quilt using Lori Holtz fabric. So I think this is a 17 inch strip. So yes. what ruler is this that this we This is use? a three quarter inch and I'm going to also use it as the binding. And so, you, so it'll just finish everything off and just bring everything all together. And it's your three quarter inch scallop ruler. Yes, correct. Okay, so we've got a 17 inch strip and she's gonna show us first how we ruffle that and that's our first step. This is a three quarter inch. I have my ruffler on a one and I'm using the stitch length at a two and a half. So you just place it in your ruffler and so every stitch it is going to ruffle. This is my favorite foot. Okay, now that it's all ruffled, we're ready to make the flower. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start making the flower. So I'm going to put a button in the center. So she's going to bring the button. So it's going to be a one inch button. So I need to know exactly how much spacing. Thank you, honey, to put the button. So I got to find out for the center. And I just do it with needle and thread. I'm kind of old fashioned. And what kind of needle are you using? This is those John James. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so I want to see the position of the button, so I'm just going to start rolling it. Too big. Make it just a titch smaller. And just a little smaller. How do you know what size to get to? Because I want to just cover up all the stitching. So you want the fabric just to go a little tad under the button? Correct. I just eyeball everything, honey. I mean, like this kind of stuff. So I just take the needle. Thanks to long nails, it's kind of hard to pick up. So then I just always go underneath and I just start sewing. So you're sewing the first two layers that, that meet together. Correct. And I just kind of sew like Big stitches. Yep. Because you're going to re-sew it on the quilt anyway, so it doesn't matter. So how big do you like to make your roses? You can make them as big as you want. My scallop pillows that I make, I make them four lengths. I use my one inch scallop and I start to center and make it look just like a rose. It's absolutely beautiful. And then I just do four lengths. Salvage so, to salvage. So like 160 inches. Correct. And then I just ruffle the whole thing. It automatically, as you see, starts making a flower. And I'll take 14 inch pillow, 16 inch pillow, whatever you would like. And it's absolutely stunning. You can put it on purses, you can put it on anything you want, and it just takes the simplest things and makes it darling. You just make it a little knot at the end. Yep, and I always just do a knot like this too. Just to make sure it's super secured. And then this is gonna go on here. And then you just have to find your spotty. You want your little flower. And then you have to make sure you go between the two layers. I'm going to kind of pin it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I will this time because I'll probably lose it if I don't. When you sew through, you're going to sew through everything except not the backing. Correct. So you got to pick it up. And I'm going to look at this and I'm going to go through the layers and just make sure I can tell by the feel that I didn't get through it. And I always check, yo baby, I didn't get through it. And then I'll just go through. And I just sew all the way around. I'm going to take this baby out. So how far apart are your stitches? 
mm, about a quarter inch because you want this to be on really good so when it's washed. I've also done this before and put the button on and put elastic around it. So you can take it off when you wash it. So start in the back. Yep. Go through the flower. Yep. Back to the front. makes you feel good, doesn't it? Yeah, and it's so cute. It's so much easier than it looks. It is. It's just easy. So now we've got the flower. What do we do with the button? The button, you just put it in the center. And then what I do for this, I'm going to start over on my right. I'm going to go through, try not to show it through. So you're coming up the center from the right of the flower. And I'm going to go this way, and I'm going to turn it this way. So go up through the button, down through the button. Yep, and then I'm going to go through the opposite end. All the way to the left of the flower, to the outside. Okie dokie. Then I'm going to go back through the center. I can get back through this way once again. So you went all the way back to the left, but Correct. not through. Because I wanted to get secure. Then I'm going to start again. back up this way. And then all you do is take it and you wrap it around your button three times. So you're wrapping the thread around to lock it. Yep. And then it is securely on there. And then I'm going to finish it off. And I'll just knot it. And it's easier to do on the side of the flower because yeah. you can see what you're doing. Yeah, because otherwise it's... And it's hidden, so... Yep, nobody's going to see it. Nobody can see it. So you're just making a knot. Mm -hmm. And just feel how tight that button is. Yeah, it's not going to come off. <laughs> not anytime soon. And you are done. So Janet, thank you so much thank for you. showing us how to put this rose on any kind of project that you want to. We hope that you will do that and share your photos with us. And thanks for watching us today. Thank you.